if no one told you i want to be the one to tell you but vision boards work i've always wanted to go skydiving i had this on my board for probably like five or six years and since last year i wasn't traveling on my birthday i was like let's go skydiving so i booked the reservation hopped on the long island railroad rode three hours i kid you not as soon as i got off the train i received this email it basically says it's too windy to jump all jumps are canceled reschedule and i'm glad they care about your safety and all but i just traveled three hours and it's my birthday that's me crying on the way back to brooklyn but i got over it because safety comes first so i enjoyed the rest of the summer hang out with friends with the dinner just had a good time and then i went to miami it's October in New York, so I wanted some sunshine, so I went to Miami, went straight to the beach, and while there, I was like, let's try skydiving again. The weather's great here, and if it doesn't work out, it's not meant to be. God said, nah. So, I made the jump. Yay. So fun. We'll definitely do it again. Um, but when I went to re you know, update my vision board, I noticed something. I'm looking at the picture I had on my board, and I was just like, yo, that's crazy. I think... When I tried to go skydiving the first time in June, my hair was straight. So it didn't work out because on my vision board, it's curly hair. And then when I actually made the jump in Miami, I had curly hair. And I was like, yo, that's crazy. And then I looked even closer. And I'm looking at the instructor on my vision board. He kind of looked like my real life instructor that I had in Miami. I was like, yo, this is insane. Like, it really comes down to the specifics and just trusting the process and just never give up. And I wanted to make this video to reiterate that message, to share that with you. And let you guys know, I'm about to make me another vision board and put some amazing things on there. So stay tuned.